Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Flight, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video, guys, it's gonna be once again another life story for you guys. I got a bunch of good feedback and some likes and some comments and all that good stuff in the comments of my last story video. It looked like you guys wanted to see more, so here I am with another one. So if you guys haven't already seen my last story video, I'll have the link down below in the description, or if you don't want to look in down in the description below, you know, you can go into my channel and, you know, while you're at it, maybe subscribe if you're new, but, uh, while you're doing that, you can just scroll through my videos if you really want to, you know, find the story video and watch it. It's about the time I got a teacher fired, um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that at all, <clears throat> link will be down in the description below. But, uh, yeah guys, without further ado, let's go straight into the story. So, basically, this is the story of the time I was chilling at a friend's house and his grandpa basically got the cops called on him, uh, because he lit a fire and stuff and, yeah... So basically, this is how it went. So me and my friend, we're just chilling in his room. You know, we're playing some Xbox, having some fun that day. We're just chilling. And this happened like a few years back, you know. But <clears throat> we're just chilling, and we're playing some Xbox, having some fun. And basically, his grandpa is downstairs, and we're upstairs in his room. And his grandpa, like, calls us down, or he called my friend down. And, I, you know, of course, I just came with him. I'm not just going to stay up in his room. It's kind of weird, you know, just, like, up in someone else's room playing Xbox. But, <clears throat> yeah, so we go down there, and his grandpa's like, you guys got to see this. So we go down and we go outside to like where their mailbox is and there's a beehive inside of it I don't ask me why don't I don't know how it got there to be honest with you um, Especially considering that like you know like the mailman has to put stuff there But I don't really know what the deal was I think like at that house or whatever at my friend's house I'm pretty sure like the mailman actually like went to the door and like dropped it off instead of like even using their mailbox So I don't really know I mean I'm pretty sure they didn't use the mailbox much at the time but anyway, there happened to be a beehive in that mailbox. So, my friend's grandpa, being the badass and the crazy person he is, walks around to the back side of the house where the shed is, and comes back to the front with a jerry can filled with gasoline. So, my friend and I, we're, chill we're sitting there, you know, we're chilling, and we're just like, holy crap, what's about to go down? So, next thing you know, friend's grandpa brings out an axe and just li just straight up cuts down, or not really cuts down, but you know, like, knocks down with, because it's like heavy, like a hammer, or whatever, he knocks down the damn mailbox. Once it's down on the ground, he kind of pulls it off to the side, so it's not, like, right up in the road or anything. It's just kind of behind a little bit. And the dude starts pouring gasoline all over the th this thing. So, once it's pretty much drenched in gasoline, dude says, you know, like, my friend's grandpa, he, he's like, alright guys, I'll be right back. And we're sitting there, like, he is not about to do this. He's not about to set this mailbox on fire because there's a damn beehive in it. Like, can't he just spray it with some stuff to kill the bees? Or, like, you know, I, I don't know, like, maybe shake it off to piss the bees off and then run away or something. I don't know. Or, like, maybe fill it with water, something like that. But no, he comes back with a box of matches. Next thing you know, he lights off one of the matches and lights the damn mailbox on fire in a blaze of glory. It's sitting there next to the road in the driveway, just completely up in flames. This is absolutely insane. My friend and I were sitting there and we're just thinking to ourselves like, holy shit, what just happened? So there's a giant ass fire and of course because it's burning off gasoline, there's a bunch of black smoke coming off of it so everyone in the area can see it and basically what ended up happening i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure one of the neighbors saw it and felt like the house was on fire so while that was going down i'm pretty sure that one of the neighbors called the cops so next thing you know the cops along with a couple of fire trucks from the fire department pull up to the driveway and see the damn mailbox just sitting there on fire we're there next to him we're well we're relatively close to the mailbox but we're there next to my friend's grandpa and my friend's mom and dad came out there because they saw what happened and we're just kind of like laughing our asses off because we had like we had never really experienced anything like this before i mean the damn cops came it was really funny they had their sirens and all that going on but basically, the cops pull up and they just see this, like, little flame, because at that time, you know, the fire almost pretty much burnt in, like, most of the mailbox at that point. So, we're just looking at it, and the cops are there, and <laughs> they walk up, and, like, at that point, it's a really low flame, so nothing crazy is gonna go down. They're not just gonna, like, turn on, like, the fire engine, oh, just blast it everywhere, like, hose it down, you know, to put out the fire. 
But uh, basically, they walk up to my friend's grandpa because he's looking at it, and he's got like a giant ass smile on his face because he just thinks it's the funniest thing in the world, which it was at the time. Like my friend and I were back there, we're laughing our asses off. It was the best thing ever. And basically, what ended up happening is the cops were talking to the grandpa, and he explained to them that there was a beehive in there. And basically, all they did, they were pretty chill about the whole situation. They just straight up told him not to do it again, and that it's pretty much like arson, but it's it's like arson against like your own stuff so like just don't do it again unless like you really have to which he didn't or he shouldn't have to but you know they were pretty chill about the whole situation we all kind of laughed it off and that was pretty much it so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this story i know it was pretty short it wasn't anything crazy but uh yeah so let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the story you know if you want to see more things like this because i do have a couple more uh leave a comment down below uh, like you know like if you have anything you want me to like talk about in particular like if i have any stories about school if i have any stories about anything like that because i got a lot of stuff up my sleeve and in my brain and stuff, you know, stuff that I've been thinking about. But <clears throat> anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a short video and a short story, but, you know, sometimes it's just got to be that way, especially when I got to cut straight to the point. I don't want to bore you guys with stupid details that don't matter. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Pure Flight HD, and I'm out. Peace.